Indulge in the art and culture of the Navi while dining in this former RDA mess hall feet away from the floating mountains of Pandora. This is our review of the Satuli Canteen. The Satuli Canteen, located within Pandora in the Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World, is a fast casual restaurant serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This unique and awe-inspiring venue features American cuisine with a twist from another planet. Walking inside, you have two choices, order your food there or pick up at the window by mobile ordering in advance on the My Disney Experience app. Since our visit was spontaneous, we ordered on the spot. At the Satuli Canteen, you have two main entrees types to choose from, the bowls or the pods. For the bowls, you get to create your own dish with a protein, base, and sauce. For proteins, you have slow roasted grilled beef, wood grilled chicken, sustainable fish, or chili spiced fried tofu. For bases, you've got quinoa and vegetable salad, red and sweet potato hash, whole grains and rice, or romaine and kale salad. Lastly, to top it off with a sauce, you can choose from charred onion chimichurri, black bean vinaigrette, or creamy herb dressing. For the pods, you can choose from the cheeseburger pods, which are very popular, or the vegetable curry pods. Unlike a lot of other fast casual dining around Walt Disney World, we found the food service to be incredibly fast. Between ordering and receiving our food, it was within two minutes. As far as seating goes, we recommend the spacious air-conditioned area within the canteen, but there is shaded outdoor seating as well. For my entree, I went with the slow-roasted grilled beef bowl. For my base, I went with the red and sweet potato hash, and for my sauce, I went with the charred onion chimichurri. My choice of protein, base, and sauce were each determined based off of what I heard was best before visiting, and I've got to say, each of these components lived up to the hype. Mixing it all up, not only was the roast beef incredible, but the sauce really made the meal. It's hard to go wrong with the proteins and bases, but the chimichurri sauce is by far the best sauce if you want to make your entree pop. My brother went with the slow roasted grilled beef and potato hash as well, but for the sauce, he tried out the black bean vinaigrette. Dad went with the sustainable fish for his protein, quinoa and vegetable salad for his base, and the charred onion chimichurri for his sauce. As you may notice, each of our bowls are topped with crunchy vegetables along with some Pandoran boba balls. Once everything's mixed up, the crunchy vegetables fit right in. The boba balls, mainly there to signify this meal as being from Pandora, have an interesting tart taste. I've got to say, we all thoroughly enjoyed our bowls. One thing that may not come across on camera are the portions. It may or may not seem like a lot in these bowls, but by the end of our meal, we were stuffed. For a fast casual restaurant in Walt Disney World's newest land, the serving sizes were a welcome surprise. Along with this meal, we each went with some soda. Typically, I'm not a big dessert guy, but it was hard to resist the blueberry cream cheese mousse topped with passion fruit curd. A little known fact about this masterpiece is that it's meant to resemble an avatar with the blue speckled skin and the bright colored eyes. Going inside, you'll immediately notice the blueberry cream cheese, which was delicious. This may seem like a dessert for one, but given you're essentially eating a solid sphere of cream cheese, it's very filling. If you have two people in your party, one will probably do the trick. If you have four, it may be worth grabbing two. Safe to say, this is the best best dessert someone could ask for. The Satuli Canteen offers a variety of beverages, including iced tea, tea packets, hot chocolate, coffee, and all the creamers, sugars, and utensils you need. The only thing about the Satuli Canteen I found odd was the placement of the stations to place your bowls and utensils once you're done. As guests receive their food, they walk down a corridor which leads out right to one of these return stations. Since they aren't marked and these guests are looking for utensils for their meal, I noticed many people walk over to realize they were used utensils and bowls. That being said, when the only thing you can find wrong about a restaurant is the placement of some used dishware containers, it's probably a good sign. Each bowl was $12.99, each soda was $3.29, and the blueberry cream cheese mousse was $5.29. Add it all up and we spent around $48 for a party of three. For a fast casual restaurant, this is on par for Disney, and given the serving sizes, freshness, and taste, if you're looking for a quickly prepared, healthy, and delicious meal, 
This one's definitely worth it. For food quality, we give this a Tuli Canteen, five stars. For value, we give four and a half stars. For service, we give five stars. And for atmosphere, we give five stars. Add it all up in our restaurant rating for the Satuli Canteen comes in at 4.8 out of five stars, our highest rating we've had to date, getting a Mickey Views rating of excellence. Thanks for watching. Be sure to let us know your thoughts on this Mickey Views restaurant review. Let us know what restaurant you want us to review next. Be sure to check out our other restaurant reviews like the Skipper Canteen in the Magic Kingdom, the Boathouse in Disney Springs, and more. Have a magical day.